Good morning! So this is like my first video. Um, my name is Tariq, by the way. I kept on making like all these practice videos and just like never saying what my name was. So yeah, my name is Tariq. That's T-Y-R-I-C. It's right there on the below. Um, today we're just doing a get ready with me in the morning. Like I literally just woke up and I'm like, I right, let me do this video with me getting ready. Because I look crazy and I'm probably about to look different. So let's get it started. <laughs> Oh, and like, by the way, I want my channel to be about like a mixture between like fashion and just like vlogs and like my personal experiences that I go through. Um, a lot of people say that I'd be funny and I'm like, I don't know that was funny, but you know, things like that. So just fashion, vlogs, and yeah, just, just those kind of things. Um, as far as fashion goes, it's like, I like designer items and I also like to like shop Zara, H&M, Top Man. So it's like it's going to be about like pursuing that high end look but kind of like the low end prices. Not really low end but y'all see like as the channel progresses you'll see like what I'm trying to do. But it's definitely to help people and to you know get people in the hang of not spending too much but spending enough to get that look. So yeah that's kind of what I want my channel to be about and I keep getting out the frame. I'm going to have to practice doing this but yeah. Normally I do this in the shower, but I'm not gonna do it right now on the camera, so. <sighs> I actually want a different face cleaner, but this one works so good. Now, I don't know which one you get. I, I literally only use clean clear. I used to use Claritel when I was a little younger. And I used to think Clarissa was the itch, like he used to get all the things with the way. But then I got older and I just only worked clean and clear for like six dollars and just always been working. I even about what the um the skin brightening one more time. That's it. <laughs> then my face dry. And keep it together. So I have been sleeping with a do-rag like this past couple days and it's crazy because it's the new year. Like happy new year by the way. It's literally January 2nd and since January 1st I haven't been sleeping with a do-rag. So that's so bad. I'm starting my new year off with my hair is so terrible. Uh, I got a bugger. I do. Anyway. I need to get my hair together. And I like put a do rag on so it can stay together because I just have a big camera. It was nice on New Year's though, but I wore a hat. Yeah. Like I literally, I washed it, conditioned it, did everything I was supposed to do, made it look nice, and then still put a hat on. Like craziness. But anyway, I ain't gonna use this right now because I already got it in, but I used to use my Kim 2 leave in. Um, this argan oil you want is, I think it's new. It smells real good, like, I'm about to smell it again. But yeah, I use this, I basically put it, <laughs> this probably sounds so crazy, but I put it on a paper plate for like five seconds, warm it up in the microwave, and then I take it out. And it's basically like a deep conditioning. I learned that from YouTube and like my friends doing it. Like my friends, they wear like weaves and stuff and they go through all of these different techniques to get it to like be soft and clear and all that extraness so you know I picked up from it I started putting conditioner in the damn microwave and then I started to like the results that was coming from it so yeah, I'm probably gonna have to show y'all another video because again I'm not doing that right now yeah let's get my shit together so um Lately, my favorite song has been Bad and Bougie, like, <laughs> I 
I feel like it matched my life. I keep getting out the camera. But yeah, like Migos, Bad Uzi. Fuck up, fuck in the Uzi. No, mm, sad movie. We got to do mm, 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 mm. <sighs> I think it'll be great from you. Bitch, I'm my dog. <laughs> I love when you're doing those songs with like all those sound effects. That's what makes me like the song. Like, for real, for real. It's Monday, January 2nd. Like, what am I about to put on today? Hmm. Don't gotta work. I'm probably not going nowhere. I know I'm not going nowhere, actually. But I just need to put some clothes on at least. I'm probably gonna put like a sweatshirt and some sweatpants on. That's what I'm gonna wear today. Sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Like a watch. Just to be in the house, like we're watch. And, uh, okay, you see the waves coming back a little bit. The camera doing a little justice. It looks way better than what it did when I first started this video. So I'm happy about that. Latch. <laughs> my face is so ashy because I just watched it. So if I could pick up that my face is ashy, just know that I literally just washed my face and I'm about to get together when I put some more shorts on. If y'all wonder why my shirt is like lifting, you probably can't even see that it's lifting, but this shirt is from Bulu, man. And um, this shit shrunk, like the first wash, it shrank. And it's like literally a belly shirt when I do this. And this is a medium, not even a small, and I usually wear small. So I go to shrink into an extra small, it's so crazy. But the beauty about Bulu is it's so cheap that it's like, once shit like this happens, it's like, okay, like I literally pay like, five dollars for this shirt because it was like 60 percent off so like the original price was like i don't know 12 dollars something and then while i was five and then it shrank after the first wash and i'm cool with it because well it was five dollars i could just buy it again i guess you know but i guess moving forward if i do buy stuff from boohoo which i, I will i'm just not gonna wash them I mean, i'm not gonna i'm gonna wash them i'm just not gonna dry them i don't think that I should dry those kind of clothes because it's gonna shrink. Somebody told me not to dry them, so I'm basically gonna just take their advice because they shot that boohoo and I like to shop cheap too, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna see how it goes with my stuff from boohoo, washing it and not drying it. Just stay dry. We'll see. Because I, I always dry my clothes. Like, the only thing that I don't dry is like jeans and like Adidas track pants, <laughs> all those like scuba diving materials. Um, neoprene, like I don't dry those, but like everything else, I be drying and yeah. Not to mention, I was washing clothes the other day. I got a stain on my t-shirt, on my white t-shirt. And I had, when I first, I remember when I first got the stain, it probably was like two months ago, probably literally like two months ago. And when I first got that stain, I just let it sit in, um, what do you call it, shout? I let it sit in shout for like mad long, literally weeks. I finally watched it thinking like, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't even think it's gonna come out. I just figured like something, I don't know. I watched it and the shit is still there on a brand, not brand new, but on a, on a nice white shirt, like it's there. I'm gonna show y'all because I'm like actually pissed off about that. Cause now it's like, it's become a jacket shirt. Like I only can wear the shirt with a jacket and I'm gonna keep wearing the shirt cause it wasn't, I like that shirt. Like I'm gonna keep wearing it. Um, yeah. I'm basically together with my hair. I need to put some nice stuff on it though. Hmm. Let's look at my phone and see like what's going on. It's early as hell, now 53 a.m. So like I've been using multiple body washes past like a couple weeks. Um, usually I use like Dove or um, yeah, like I use Dove. I like Caress. <laughs> Dove and Caress, that's usually like my go-to's. Or like if something is on sale, like shit, dial. If it's on sale, I might buy it because it works for me. So, whatever. But lately I've been using, I got this sample, um, Dolce & Gabbana like blue. It's just smell real good. And then I got this Midnight for Men from Bath & Body Works. These two smell kind of alike, so usually what I do is I'll like the majority of my shower I'm using the Midnight Blue Bath and Body Works shit because it's cheap and like yeah whatever I'm using this in like my last my last 
last little round on the loofah is the light blue because that scent is just going to stick like it literally stay on just like the cologne so these two together like it's a good little shower or you could use it by itself whatever i like to mix them but for christmas my roommate got me the best shit in the world i've become a lush addict well a lush yeah i became a lush addict the past couple months as well so like i wanted to take bubble baths all the time like just baths with the bath bombs and like just all of that stuff i wanted to just be doing all the time um he got me a little lush set and i've been using it down like i got this shower gel called rose jam like this is probably like my favorite shower gel ever now like it smells like vanilla rose and argan oil like it's just mad good mm. So I'm gonna have to go back and get like a bigger bottle. Cause this shit is just everything. And then like you pair it with the rose again body conditioner. So like you basically you wash up with the shower gel. Then while you still in the shower, you dry. I mean not dry off. You rinse off and then you put the, the body butter on. Everything like literally like look at the. I've been using it so yeah. It's like all on one side, but it's mad good. Like it makes the body so soft. When I first like opened the gift, I thought that it was lotion and I was like literally walking around with a soft ass skin and then I washed my hand and it got softer and I'm like, then I read the, you know, directions and it's like, after washing, smooth over wet skin and then rinse off to reveal super moisturized skin. And I'm like, oh, makes sense. Um, just yesterday, since I've only been using a rose jam, I finally pulled out the other body gel, shower gel. And it's called bubbly. I didn't really like this at first because I felt like it just, it was something about the scent that just was like too fruity. Like, I don't really like to walk around smelling like fruits. I don't know. It's not really my thing. But then I read the, um, started to read like what's inside. And of course, that's when I started smelling exactly what the fuck it is. This thing is orange, right? And it smells like grape juice. It has grape juice in it, like. <laughs> vine leaf infusion and grape juice like that's that's so weird that it's orange but i washed up with it and it smelled good it smelled real good so this is one of those things that i feel like you gotta like you gotta use it to like what you like then of course after my shower is done with if i use my lush products i gotta use the little lush body lotion and it's called um cherry pot got a little doggy on it yeah put my focus yeah, this, this is real good too. It don't got like that much of a distinct scent. But it smells very clean. And yeah, it's, it's everything. It's everything. Oh, and I cannot forget to talk about this damn knee bath stuff. Um, it's a 3 one scrub from knee bath. I literally, like when I first got into like the Lush a couple months ago, I was like watching YouTube and I'm like, what do people like, what else do people do in baths? Like, I, I'm not a bath taker, and I haven't taken baths until recently since, like, I was a child. Literally bubble baths, and then get up, take a shower after. Like, that was that was the routine. So I just wanted to, like, see what people be putting in their baths, or what they use, or whatever the case is. And I came across this girl, and she, her, everything about the video was nice. The thumbnail, the quality, just, like, everything. Anyway, she was basically talking about the me bath products, and she got me, she basically persuaded me to get every damn thing that she used. She used this little pop brand sugar scrub. Like, this shit is lit. I gotta like actually try it on camera because I'm gonna try to see. So it's like, it's literally like sugar scrub. You put it on. Let's say I'm washing my hands so. Let's just get it together. It's so exfoliating, right? Like, my hands are ashy. Maybe that's why it's so noisy. And then just wipe it all off. And yeah, it smells so good. Probably wasn't a good example, but I just wanted to use it on camera, so whatever. <laughs> Y'all should really buy this stuff. It's you gotta get the whole set. It comes with the little bath bombs, which they call um like ice scoops, and then it comes with well not comes with, but you gotta buy separately the lotion, which they call the icing, and then the sugar scrub, which is the shower sherbet. Yeah. Use that. <laughs> so on my last part of the
the outfit, which is chapstick. Um, for Christmas, I brought myself this Chanel chapstick. I think chapstick is very important. So sometimes you gotta spend a little bit more to like get that luxe feel on your lip. Um, normally I use Theos, this mint chapstick. Smell that good. This is usually my, this is my new go-to, but like this is my new luxury chapstick that I just really love. And it just goes so perfect with this outfit because this outfit is like one of those outfits that's like I want to be super chill but I want to look good and I want to still kind of be trendy and also this is like in my mind this is like an airport outfit this is like I'm about to go I'm about to go away I don't know what to put on but I know I want to look comfy as hell so I'm about to throw on a, a sweatshirt a hoodie in this case some sweatpants some shoes a jacket and my shades I'm gonna just be out but anyway this chapstick I just wanted to put it on, on camera so bad It's just so soft. And it's just like, it's so extra, but I love it. It's like, huh, let me pull out the Chanel chapstick. Show them what I'm working with. But anyway, this outfit is like, yeah, it's definitely one of those outfits that you just throw on and just go. Um, we're gonna call it the go on and go. And I spent the night at my best friend's house last night. And I wore these shoes, but I don't quite know how to wearing with my pants, but I'm gonna have to anyway, so yeah, this is this is that look, this is that confident look. This is this is this is me, this is how I dress like I can't even go no further. So outfit details. This is a little ratchet because I gotta get a setup together. But it's the beginning of the year and I'm just now starting my YouTube page, so don't judge. Anyway, so I have on a moto jacket from Zara. Good little price point. I have on a sweatshirt hoodie from Fiber 21. The color's olive green, so you know it's real trendy. I have on gray sweatpants from Zara. Um my Chelsea boots are from Top Man. And I really love them because they make like all this noise. Um, shades are filling. Um, I don't know the style name of them. I actually could just tell you the code, which is CL41026 slash S or FU55I. I don't know. But yeah, dang, I know no style name on here. But. For those interested, I forgot to mention where my scarf was from, but this is the H&M for Kenzo, or Kenzo for H&M right there. Little collaboration, little shawl scarf. I love it so much. Get a lot of compliments on it, and I don't see a lot of people with this collection, so H&M probably didn't make a lot of money from it, or maybe they did, and just I don't see a lot of people with it. But I go to all the H&M collaborations, I love them shits like. I think one was my favorite, but by mine got me the most compliments, like, cause they had like those structured blazers, like, yeah. I actually just wore something from the H&M, from the Balmain collection, like, on New Year's, like, I wore the pants. I never wore the pants cause I felt like they was too big for me, but I found a way to make them work and I wore them and yeah. Like, I really gotta go. I'm about to walk to the store. <laughs> one last thing, so I remember when I was buying this hoodie, I love this hoodie by the way, like, it's one of my favorites. But what pissed me off was when I got in the house, <clears throat> when I saw it on the rack, I mean, it's, it's a plain hoodie, right? Like, you know, I don't want to turn around because I'm going to reveal, like, what the fuck irked me. But I get home, and I'm, you know, taking my stuff out. But it was, like, Friday, by the way, so I was just, like, picking up, picking up, picking up. I get home, and I'm unfolding my damn shirt out the bag. And they will really put cutouts on my elbows. Like, 21 men, why did you cut out the elbows? Like, I just wanted a plain hoodie. But, whatever. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Um, I need y'all to subscribe, like, what else? Subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram at Toast and Grits, and um, comment below, like, anything. I want to ask me some questions, or like, you know, I don't know. Just like the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Toast and Grits, and yeah, my name is Tariq. <laughs>